filming you I've just been out into the garden and harvest some rocket and jam rhubarb. I was given a lovely marrow the other day and what I'm thinking of doing is might make marrow and rhubarb jam. I have also when I got a bit down a couple of months ago forgotten to cut my roses out in the front and I've got one bush that has gone completely to road chips already. Normally I oh normally I keep up with the the heading of the roses and then come about November time then I let them go to road chips for the wildlife. Um but this time I haven't so um they've already road chips already on one bush. So what I'm thinking of doing, I might also go and get them in in a minute and I might even put them in to the jam so it would be like a marrow, rose chip and rhubarb jam um, At the moment I'm just cooking, the, cutting the rhubarb to see how much rhubarb I've got so I just fry it and then it'll give me an indication of how much sugar I will need. Well there's, there's one pound of, of rhubarb there and I'm not sure how heavy the um, marrow is before I even try and cut it. Um, which we'll go and have a look at. So that's not bad, so I know I need a pound of sugar. And rhubarb is very good for setting jam anyway. And as you can see, it is a whopper. And that's six pounds before I even start cutting into it. Um, if I just go like that and stand back a bit, you can see it's um, virtually six pound. So, I might just do the rose chips, um, but I don't want to keep it and let it go off, you know, by humming and hawing what to um, make with it or what to do with it. I've got to try and find my my gardening um, guru. Forgotten what you call them, uh, to be honest with you. My Monbo Jumbo. Uh, da, 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 da. No, that one then we cut into it. That one might. So, I mean, I could just blanch it. And put it in the freezer. I haven't got many things to make a pickle or a chutney because you're meant to have say mixed fruit and one or two other things. I've never made a chutney but I do know how to make jam. So I don't know whether to wait and just make a pound of rhubarb jam up um, or what. Um, I just really don't want it to waste. I'm not sure how long it will store for like this without me doing anything. Um, so I've still got to go and get the road chips in. So, question is, do I make it into a jam? Do I just, um, I'm not sure what to do really, but I think a uh, uh, a rhubarb cum marrow jam would be nice actually. So here goes. Make sure I can stand it up on its end. 
really. I'll cut the other one in two. Because I've got to go and get my jars in from the other shed and put them in the oven. So I'm just prepping everything. I'm not sure how this how to peel this. Will it peel better with this cheese slice? Um, let's try. This isn't the cheese slice, mind you. Um, I do have a cheese slicer. I mean, I'm going to be forever doing this with this one. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's try the other one. No, they're not working either way. They're, my proper little peelage are not working at all, so they need to be washed. I don't think this one will, will work either. Um, stand that back on its end. Could do it like, like you do a pineapple, really. The skin is so tough, it really is. I don't know where to cut it in the middle, then I might be able to cut down. Can you eat skin? So I'll okay, just try and cut in the middle of it first. Now one thing I do want to try and do is go lay down dogs please. Is get out some of this lovely middle. And put some of this lovely seed stuff so you can see I haven't don't have many marrows because I'm not sure how to go about I've never handled a marrow before so I don't know how to go about cutting it um, So it, this is all trial and error for me at the moment. Got some lovely seeds there that just need to dry out. And then I can share the seeds. As you say, I don't know what variety of marrow it is. Um, but we'll just let that all dry out. I won't put in the greenhouse to dry out because last time I did that to a melon we brought, um, the mice came, got in and enjoyed them. So by now I've got one or two there. And then...
We don't need a bigger plate, really. Can I go past the, the um, for one half done? As you say, I'll stop you for now, and then I'll come back. Right, back again. Um, I haven't done my rose tips yet, but I'm purely doing rhubarb and marrow jam. Um, I've had it one this before. I bought it in a farm shop, and it is quite nice. Um, so I'm just waiting for it to come up to jamming point. I've mixed the sugar in and things like that. There's one or two lumps of marrow still. Uh, because I have blitzed some of it so it's quite smooth. And yes, you can eat the skins. I did Google it first to check. Um, and I think the speckles of um, the rind from where it's been bleached um, make it nice. Um, because I don't think David is a big marrow person. And normally you put um, beans with a marrow. You cook beans and marrow together. And as I haven't grown any beans or they haven't germinated, Everything seems to be slow in my garden at the moment. So, if I can preserve things by making um, jams, pickles, because he will eat some pickles. Um, one day I want to make a piccalilli. Um, but I haven't got any of the ingredients for that. And I want to learn how to make chutney. I'm not sure if it's chutney is the same as a jam setting point. Um, if anyone out there has made chutney before, I know you tend to have it on the stove for hours, um, then please leave a comment below. Smoothies are going well. Um, as I say, I need to find my Mondo Jumbo again, because at the moment, in the mornings, once I've done the dogs, fed the dogs, washed up the dog bowls, etc., check emails, and then 20 to 25 of my emails are my lovely friends on YouTube. And then, of course, I start looking at what I do like all my blog emails first, quickly read them, or put them into where I can read them later, so that I've just got a pure list of. 15, 14 um, YouTubes to watch and then it could be midday I start on one and I don't sort of stop and go outside into the garden or anything like that it could be midday before I finished all the emails including YouTube emails um, to do anything then half the day is wasted I do in the winter when you can't really do a lot but I've got to try and get myself back into a, a routine where maybe in the evenings I watch YouTube videos instead of um, trying to play games on um, farm field. That keeps crashing. Don't ask me why it keeps crashing. One minute it loads and then it goes dead. And I think doing the real gardening outside would be more better. I've still got plans for the garden. Um, don't think I'll ever get rid of all my stingies behind my um, soft fruit edge. But I must get myself out and do a bit of reading, keep the stingies down on my vegetable um, perennial bed. When I was picking the rhubarb just now, I nearly got stung by a stinger. Um, we'll do a garden tour, um, soon. I mean, I could mix some of my vegetables in the perennial bed, actually. Um, things that keep coming back. The Swiss chard is doing alright. I picked some the other day for a smoothie, along with some rocket. Uh, and of course I use the fruit and apples that we buy. 
just making sure um, all the sugar is dissolved and then I'll leave it to boil the more I stir it the more it'll not come to a rolling boil and, yeah, and of course you can put butter or margarine in to stop the scum let me just get a plate to thing to put my spoon in. I could get myself a uh, proper spoon rest. The other day when we were out I finally got my my mixing bowl I like. My grandmother had one of these brown ones and I've always wanted one. And then we were in a shop at the weekend and I suddenly came across one. And lucky enough we had the we, we could afford it. So I'm just going to let this come to a rolling boil. Can be a bit of a long winded um, thing. So I'll bring you back when when I'm just about to pot them in the jar. Now I've just done the crinkle test and as you can see I've got a lovely clear channel. So I'm going to turn it off now and just leave it for a few minutes while I get the jar down. over to that, that one so it's completely off the heat to settle for a few minutes turn that one off as well we'll move you over to here let me just move out clear some of the stuff we don't need need at the moment
Now I'll put my um, bubbler that Anne kindly sent me in with my um, kit. This is my old jam funnel that I've got. Um, and an old tin of instant marmalade that I made. So I always keep that. It's always handy for when I'm making jam. But as you can see, with my lovely kit I got, I've got the funnel. I got these lovely tongs, etc. Um, whether I'll be able to get the jars out with them, I do not know. I normally use a towel. This is the one for the hot water. Um, that's a jar screw on it, as far as I can work out. And then that gets your um, lid down. Which I will try. Yes. Surprisingly, it works. Oh wow, it even works on the inside. Need to put them that way, don't I? So let me move that stuff. I won't be using them. I have to read what up what you use them for. They can help me get the out the oven. That'd be nice. Well, that is good too be able to use them to help me get because normally I don't um don't mean to be waffling on but normally I don't um bore my lids with jam making never have done actually but as I might also um water bath them shouldn't need another any um cooking extra cooking um i suppose i could go like that round the edge because normally it goes bushy but we'll see what happens i've got a dog in the way in a bed so i will see No, it only leaves the jars. Don't think that one would be any good. So we'll just do them one at a time. And then I've got to find the jars that the lids that fit.
job. It's not only you, you know, basically the same depth, basically. Aren't I? That, ah, that one won't fit that one. That one won't fit that one. So I have to use my, um, because they must put the bigger, bigger jars. Which way shall we start? I think we'll go that way because that one does, does fit. Um, then we're going to have to move you back because I'm going to have to put my pan over here. This is quite heavy today so I'm not sure if I'm going to just pour or ladle. I think I might just um, see if I can label it. I mean, pour it in. Overfill that a bit. So I'll try not to do this one again. Not having a good luck with this today. Because it's so watery. Once it's settled, it should be alright. Hopefully. Make me I haven't allowed for any headspace. I'm trying to. It's not going so heavy, I can roughly stop it where I'm meant to. I think we will need all, yeah, I've got more than enough to do some more jars. I think I'll have to go and get some more jars and heat them up. And I might just have to re reheat this, this one up again to do the other jars. getting better at stopping now where I should do. I have to take some out of, uh, 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 of there. Um, let me finish filling these things up first. Well, I think I just pour that into a bowl. That bit. Then 
the only ones that really do need I need a good old wipe down too just take some out of there a bit probably too much now but I'd rather have too much than um, none at all and then I'll clean it up before I put the lid on it. Just a little fraction I need in there, just a little fraction. That should be fine and just a fraction in in there then I'll clear it up that's just, that's just where I need it it's it, 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 it there I know they've all got the little steel lids inside them. But I will still let me move this big pot out of my way. And then I'll stick it in the fridge. Because I think I will um To um, just doubly make sure um, so as I say I think I will possibly um, water bath these as well um, but, I, but I am going to be ultra protective and I'm going to put, I can get them out, um, some of these wax discs in as well. Well I will gradually, once I've used these ones up, I will turn to um, the mason jar type ones where you can you get new lids all the time, but you can keep the rings. Um, but I am, I am pleased with. Just have to check which is the shiny side. With um, these, no, I haven't done it yet. Well, I've done two. I 
that JJ if you if you uh, use that in just to um knock them all down. Okay, okay, come a bit straight away. Hmm. Easy, 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 nice. Can do that. So I'll probably get later on when I've cooled a bit. I will. No, right. Let's work out these lids. Yeah, that one will fix it roughly, just a finger tight. Right. Just finger tight them all. I think that's the one for that one. No, it's not. That's that one. Right. Finger tight them all for now. Right. Right. Finger tight them all. Finger tight them at the moment. So I've made four, eight, nine, ten jars of marrow and rhubarb jam. Which I'm quite pleased with. Some people might think it's funny, um, unusual, but even if I eat them all, I am pleased. Just bring you down for a closer shot but that is brilliant see you later when i upload oh let's just make this move that one to here to here